Alright, let's continue this series of reviews. So this week we want to talk about a real classic. It's going to be All Quiet on the Western Front. So when it comes to re these reviews, I will usually spoil the movie, but for this occasion I won't because this is a truly must-see. So there were anti-war movies before this one, but none of them hit the mark and made its point so well such as this one. It's still one of the most powerful movies ever made, out of any genre or time period. And not just that, the movie is also really among the best ever made. So, it came out in 1930 and is directed by Lewis Milestone, and in the leading roles are Lewis Wolheim and Liu Ares. I mean, just by how this starts off with, a title screen saying, this story is neither an accusation nor a confession, and at least of an adventure. For death is not an adventure, to those who stand face to face with it. It will try simply to tell of a generation of men who, even though they may have escaped shells, were destroyed by war. If not an accusation, it does admit that a generation was destroyed. The story is a tribute to a lost generation. The year of its release is even more significant because those who survived the war were still alive and not only that, they still remembered it. The movie starts off in a classroom with a teacher urging the boys to sign up for the war. And at this point of the war, it had been going on for a couple of months and the Germans were on the winning side. So everyone thought the war was going to be over in a year until a stalemate happened. So, we see the boys streaming away on all the glory they'll get from joining the war. But we as the viewer, we understand better. We know it won't be like that. So even as we, the viewer, understand that it won't be going as they think it will, we still value their hope and innocence. We even kind of wish that it will go their way and, you know, be good for them. You know, which only makes it worse when we see how the war destroys their spirits, and their will to live. So this is not a happy movie, this is not a movie you're supposed to go and see and feel good about, this is far from it. Possibly the saddest part of the film is towards the end, when the lead is injured and able to spend some time on leave at home, and he soon realizes after visiting his family that he doesn't belong there, he'd rather be on the front lines with his friends, with the people that gone through the same thing as he has, and also that only them seem to understand the war for real. Back home it seems like it's just a big game or a competition where everyone seems to know how a real war is when they haven't been to one. Well, I don't want to tell too much of the plot because it could spoil the movie and I don't want to spoil the movie as I said before but either way, we see these German kids we see them going through the war and how it changes them. We see the characters question the war and we understand how pointless the war is. We see them go crazy, get hurt, die, and all the horrors of war. Aside from the French being referred to as the enemy, the film seems to be kind of neutral. It doesn't take an opinion of the war. It focuses more on the young soldiers and their experiences. So, continuing with the movie, I gotta say that the filming or cinematography of this movie is really good for its time, and it actually stands out a lot. The camera takes part in the action, it moves in and out, frames people in close-up, and some of the most memorable images come when the camera tracks along with the soldiers as they charge the trenches. And it's interesting to note that some of the scenes were so realistic looking that they were actually used in real World War I documentaries many years later. And when it comes to the music of the movie, it doesn't really have much music, which only adds to the atmosphere. We mostly hear the gunshots in the distance and the artillery fire constantly bombarding them. The movie only uses music when it's most needed and actually adds something to it. The biggest flaw of the movie is not the actual movie, it's that most people won't see it because it's old or black and white, which is a really big shame. But for you that is watching this review, I say don't miss out on this movie. If you're a fan of war movies, or interested in World War One, or even the slightest interested in war, you have to see this movie. The ending is going to leave you speechless, and it will stick with you for a while. 